वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विथ अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोज फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी ऑल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस Let us continue to watch our today's video. So welcome friends in new video. In this video we will discuss about uh, the uh, uh, heat rate or we can say major how we monitor gas turbine performance. So there are uh, mainly few KPIs which help in monitoring So one is your uh, open cycle heated, another is your combined cycle heated. So it is different for different kind of plants. Let's say uh, your uh, plant have only one gas turbine. Uh, for example, if you see, uh, let me draw that. Let's say you have uh, only one uh, turbine system wherein you enter your fuel and then you get some uh, power output. so uh, this is the energy in energy in and this is the energy out so based on this if you calculate uh, the input and output uh, based on this you calculate so this is called your uh, open cycle heat rate and uh, let's say you have a different system wherein you have one gas turbine and uh, your gas turbine uh, is consuming some fuel and then your uh, hot gases goes to uh, hrsg and uh, hrsg generate some steam which steam goes to an stg a a stg where you also take some power and here also you take some power so if you take this is as energy in and uh, this is as energy out and if you combine all this together and calculate the heat rate so this is called your combined cycle uh, heat rate so we will take this example in today's video and uh, explain that how you have to arrive on this number second uh, in this uh, let's say you you take this part only this part you want to see gt sorry gt plus hrsg if you want to see then you have to calculate your co gen efficiency so that's uh, that will give you gt plus uh, uh, hrsg both uh, uh, performance monitoring index so these are how uh, different index or different kpis which you have to monitor so let us take an example of an open cycle heat rate calculation uh, so what is a heat rate heat rate is basically you are uh, finding out that how much energy is required for one unit of power or uh, uh, simply you can say heat or energy required for one kilowatt hour one unit of electricity produced so it's very simple calculation uh, i think many of you would know but let me explain for the sake of beginners so let us see that what is the heat input so for heat input i am taking this example that this is a frame 6 machine and uh, where the output is 30 megawatt roughly and fuel flow is 7.2 tons of uh, natural gas ng 7.2 tons per hour natural gas flow is uh, there and uh, uh, the calorific value is 11 uh, sorry this is 11000 uh, 11700 uh, uh, is the calorific value of uh, 
फ्यूल किलो कैलोरी पर के जी सो वॉट इज द हीट इनपुट सो हीट इनपुट इज हाउ मच फ्यूल यू आर पुटिंग इन एंड वॉट इज द कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू सो इफ यू सी यू आर पुटिंग सेवन पॉइंट टू टन विच इज सेवन पॉइंट टू इंटू वन थाउजेंड इफ यू डू सो इट इज सेवन पॉइंट टू के जी एंड पर आवर इज दट पर आवर so i'm keeping the unit also so that you know what is the unit uh, combined unit is coming so here it is 7.2 kg per hour and in the another unit uh, for calorific value is kilo calorie per kg so that is 11700 so if you multiply these two things so 7.2 into 1000 into 11700 so kg gets cancels by kg and the final unit will be kilo calorie per hour so this is what your uh, the number is for how much energy you are putting into the system then uh, you have some output which your uh, uh, meter will give you so here you have 30 megawatt and uh, we have to calculate in kwh so what do you do you you one hour uh, uh, it, it it you multiply 30 into 1000 so that is your kw megawatt converted into kilowatt and uh, this will be if you generate one hour uh, this total energy then it will leave one megawatt so uh, the heat rate is you put it into numerator this will be in denominator this will be in numerator this will be in denominator so if you do it 7.2 into 1000 into 11700 divided by 30 into 1000 so it will come to close to 2808 uh, kilo calorie so normally i am taking a very rough example for from my memory when i was used to work in plant so that is uh, from my memory the number may or may not be little correct so uh, for uh, what i remember is for uh, frame 6 uh, machines uh, it close to 3000 kilo calorie per kwh and uh, for frame 9 machine it was 2800 uh, kilo calorie per kwh however it may change based upon the performance or different parameters so uh, you may have uh, impact of your inlet air filter delta p your inlet temperature air temperature etc based on that these will vary and uh, i have created a video on past wherein i have explained that what are the parameters which uh, which gives a impact on the performance and how your uh, heat rate and other things changes so that is also one uh, video which you can uh, watch now uh, th let us see that another uh, kpi is efficiency so if you talk about uh, efficiency and heat rate both are the same thing but uh, in a calculated in a different uh, format uh, just uh, opposite of each other so uh, if you if you uh, calculate uh, output by input so uh, that is your uh, efficiency multiplied by 100 then you have efficiency if you do it on a entire gas turbine uh, side so this will be your uh, gas turbine plus compressor both coming together a deficiency and uh, i will create compressor efficiency video also many people find it difficult to do so i will create another video on compressor efficiency calculation <laughs> so this is also very simple that how much uh, let's say you are uh, 30 megawatt you are creating so you do it by 1000 so now this is 30 1000 kilowatt and 860 is the one when you calculate this is the factor when you calculate uh, change uh, your power into heat value so now this is uh, output generated by machine and what input we gave we gave 7.2 tons per hour fuel which is 7.2 into 1000 kg per hour fuel and this fuel has 11700 kilo calorie per kg uh, calorific value so if you all multiplied and check that this will come to close to 30.6%
so uh, your turbine uh, open cycle efficiency is close to uh, maybe 30 point uh, something so it will be equal to this uh, number only and uh, if you have any question or any doubt uh, on this calculation you can ask me in comment section in the follow video i'll uh, create uh, cogen efficiency calculation and uh, compressor efficiency calculation and followed by your combined cycle uh, efficiency and heat rate calculation thank you for watching uh, this video uh, you can ask any question in the comment section thank you for watching